In this video, we are going to run a latex agglutination test for Staphylococcus aureus, and the kit that we are using is from Becton Dickinson. Okay, um, in this kit, uh, it comes with these uh, reading cards, and it also comes with uh, the reagents. Now, the two reagent bottles that are in here are the test latex, which contain the active reagent, and then we have the control latex, which basically is the, is the latex without the uh, reagent. So if we were to be running um, quality control, we'd be doing a positive, which is staph aureus, and a negative, which is staph epidermidis. But we're going to go ahead and run this as if we were running a patient. So we're going to have on one circle we're going to have the test latex and on the second we're going to have the control latex which is just, which is just going to make sure that we're not getting any false positives. So the first thing we'll do here is we'll go ahead and label our card. So I'm going to put okay staph aureus here then I'm just going to put control over here. All right, now whenever I'm running these card tests, uh, you know, usually because you start working with them on a flat surface and then you ha usually have to pick them up and then do something with them. So I usually uh, take a corner and just bend it up a little bit like that so when it comes time to pick it up, it's much easier for me to, to uh, handle. All right, so... Uh, first thing that we need to do here is we're going to uh, apply our uh, reagents to the card. Now, as with any reagent, reagents need to be at room temperature and also need to be well mixed. And latex reagents have latex beads in them, which tend of, I mean, of course, everything goes to the bottom, but they tend to uh, maybe get a little bit stuck together. So we just need to make sure that they are well mixed. And actually, I've already mixed them before, so I know that they're ready to go. So the first thing we'll do is we'll put one free falling drop of test latex on the left and then we will put one free falling drop of the control latex on the right. Now per the uh, procedure it tells us to use an inoculating loop one of these guys right that we heat up um, but you can use uh, just an applicator stick um, to scoop up organism. So uh, on the left-hand side, we're going to go ahead here, and here we have, uh, in this corner, Staph aureus. So let's just go ahead and scoop a little bit up. And we're going to mix it in here, get it well emulsified. And when you're doing these, you want to go ahead and spread that around as far as you can around the circle. Now we're going to go ahead on the control side and use also Staph aureus. So same thing, we need to go ahead and emulsify it and then spread it around the entire circle. Okay. Now, per the procedure, we're supposed to rotate this for 20 seconds and then read it at 20 seconds. Now, we can see that the, the left uh, circle here is already looking strongly positive. Now, what makes it strongly positive is, one, of course, we have agglutination, but the second is that we have a clear background. Okay, so 20 seconds has passed. It's at this time that you need to make a decision. You don't keep rocking and say, oh, you know, maybe if I just rock it a little bit more, it'll become positive. No, you know, you, it, if the procedure says to observe and make a decision at 20 seconds, that's what you do. So this is very clear cut. Like I said, positive reaction. We have agglutination and we have a clear background. Now sometimes in the, on the control side or if, you're use, if you're, you are doing QC and you're using a, a different organism like Staph epidermidis, you will see some agglutination but that is not uh, considered positive unless we have a clearing of the background. Okay, that's it for the uh, latex agglutination test for Staphylococcus aureus.